Yo, boy, you got me up, boy. It's late as hell. Let me turn this light on, man. What's going on, bro? Late as shit. Let me turn this light on to them, man. God damn. I'm in Buffalo, What's, New York. Buffalo? At Helium. Oh, how was it? The first show last night was pretty good, considering Buffalo, summertime, July 4th weekend. It was a pretty damn good crowd for a Thursday. I was like, all right, oh, damn. So you about to? I you about my, to... I'm lowering my expectations because you know, Buffalo is a cold city. You know, it's usually the winters like Chicago. Yeah. And no comedian wants to go to a city that has harsh winters. They don't want to go in the summertime. Dude, you if you if you was crazy on Thursday, you gonna kill the whole weekend, bro. Well, yeah, it was pretty good. I was like, but well, we'll see. On a Thursday in the summertime, dude. I just got back from Denver, dude. I had a rough time, dog. I just did Denver Improv. Oh, wait. Uh, you had a rough time at Denver Improv? Well, well, no. I mean, it was a good show, but my attendance wasn't that great. Of course, it's, you know it's, what I'm saying? So, like, no. that, my my Friday show, you know, they made it to the NHL. The, the Avalanche or something was playing in the in the championship, bro. So, wait, you know the that is. Avalanche is in the NHL. Is it, are they in the playoffs? No, they were in the championship. It was the championship going on during my weekend. Mm -hmm. And they real big on hockey up there in Denver. Hey, let me tell you something real quick. Let me tell you something real quick. Whenever, whenever, if you're not like a, you know, you know, the, the Chappelle's and the blah, 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 that sell out, no matter, it could be on planet fucking Mars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. going to always go, yo, man, let me tell you, you know what's up? It's the... Um, the hockey game, and then the mountain. They have a mountain <laughs> festival. They have a they, mountain. Bro, they have a mountain bro, festival man. going on now. So that means look, that look. thing that affected your look. shit. I'm and there's always, bro. Listen, and they I'm have a horse always. racing thing going yes, on. Nigga, that is the worst. Where you have to get that empathy from the from the club manager. They be like, "Yeah, man, it rained today." So. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was raining, man. <laughs> You know, you know how that is. You just sitting in there like, like that's where I'm at in my career now. Like, you know, people, know, you know, I'm doing okay in certain markets. Right, it's right. still a motherfucker, man. It's so many levels to comedy, nigga. This shit is like, it, it's like kung fu or something, bro. Send it like, to me. Send it to me. Yeah, it's like, like it's, yeah. it's it's so many levels because it's like you start out, you know, you you kind of get. I guess you get a little funny, you know, you still a little hacky or whatever, feel like you funny. And then it takes you years and years just to find your own voice. Then you find your own voice. Then you got to figure out, Yo. damn, how do I sell the tickets? <laughs> Yo, and then there's different levels of se of sales. It's like this. Here it goes. Yeah. They'll be like, okay, we, we, we don't know this guy that well. He's a funny guy. We want to try and work with him to build him which is cool. We can put them on some weekends. We can go, okay, we got our, we got, we got this, this month covered. We can put this person in cause he's really good. So now it's like, all right, we have to paper the room. Let's paper the room. Let's, mm -hmm. let's paper the room. Will people come even though we got free tickets? Sometimes that doesn't even move them to come. How about mm -hmm. this? Well, we'll, we'll, discount the tickets sometimes that doesn't even make them come that mm -hmm. there's so many levels to getting people to to asses to fill seats it's very fucking difficult that's why a lot of people but it's good that you're going on the road and and, and taking that reality and you'll work from there because they're going to say well lavar is funny so people are going to go i'm coming back to see that guy that guy was funny to the motherfucker mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it'll spread. It'll slowly go, oh, that guy. And then those people that saw you'll probably bring people with them. And, and next time it'll, it's, it's, and it's, and remember, if you're there for Thursday through Sunday, you're talking about six shows, five shows or whatever. Mm -hmm. Each club is what, three to 400 people maybe? Yeah, you know, bro. Like, and I, and I, and I told my, one time, one of these managers broke down the money to me. Like he said, listen, a lot of times as comedians, you know, we get, you get, um, you get spoiled. Like, oh, you go, why, 
or people take it personal, like, damn, why why don't you book me? Da, 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 da. One day, this guy opened up the, the, the figures and told and taught we he broke down how comedy clubs are run. Mm -hmm. Comedy clubs are beverage companies, man. They're right, food and right. beverage. Mm -hmm. They're food and beverage companies. I don't give a fuck how you slice it. They have liquor. They make money off the liquor and the food, man. The liquor mm -hmm. especially. Mm -hmm. So what they look at is, I'm this I'm out of the fifty-two weeks in the year. They go, okay. What are we gonna do? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at all the big, the big name people who we know are gonna boom, boom, fill seats. Mm -hmm. Then you go from there. You go to the who people who are right under those motherfuckers. Boom, we fill them up. Boom, 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 boom. Then you get people who are right on in those motherfuckers. Ones that are like, this person does good numbers. Maybe not sell all the time, but good enough numbers for us to work with them. Then if they see some other funny motherfuckers they want to like actually groom, they'll say, we got some fallout dates. We can put this person in, mm -hmm. that person in, because we've made our overhead. They go, we got liquor. We got food to pay for. We got electricity. We got you know, maintenance of the club. We got employees we have to pay. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck is going to pay for this bill? So mm -hmm. it's really, it's such a numbers thing. Yeah. It, it, man, and they're trying to get this liquor out this door. They're like, we have to sell this fucking liquor. And the, mm -hmm. and the more people are in the seats, they're going to be drinking more. If we have funny motherfuckers, they're going to drink more. You know what I'm saying? There's so much overhead that they figure out before they even bring a comedian in the room. Mm -hmm. No, that's real. That's real, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's and and, and, I, and I've done shows where they go, dude, man, we love your show. People are buying, they drinking, they, huh, they, they always say that. Mm -hmm. They're drinking, man. Mm -hmm. the, the kitchen is busy. Da, 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 da. When those waitresses are just, huh, that's what they yeah. want to see. Yeah. They, no, they love real. to laugh, the funny, of course, but they want to see that motherfucking liquor getting moved. Mm -hmm. Let, let, let me let, let, let me ask you this, Godfrey. What advice would you give, like, I guess, like, newer comics or, I mean, I've been doing this shit a minute. I'm just like, like, oh, right, this right. hurdle now is about me bringing all that fan base and shit together, selling tickets. Well, so well, what, if, what advice would you give to guys? You need to link up with a guy like that fucking Desi dude. You're in Atlanta, man. You mm -hmm. need to connect with his ass. You yeah, need yeah, to connect my, with those Atlanta guy. dudes that got millions mm -hmm. of followers, bro. And you mm -hmm. need to do shit. You're funny as fuck. Why don't you? You should do something with them. Like, do something with them. Mm -hmm. Get in a fucking... Uh, that Desi Banks seems like a cool guy. Oh, that's my guy. That's my guy. What the we, fuck we, are we, you we, doing? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We move. do sketches and shit together. We, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to keep doing that with him mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. just getting that crew doing that i mean sometimes you gotta suck it up and do it because that dude has seven million fucking followers yeah, bro. yeah he and so when gang. people when people see you that's gonna that's gonna flow to your shit it's gonna flow to your shit mm -hmm. flow to your mm -hmm. shit then you can keep doing what you're doing like you're always putting up content which is great mm -hmm. you keep doing that and you know because it's all about the numbers and it, all i know is I, was, I did that. I started doing with the guys in New York City, Rennie and those guys. I got with King Batch and them. I said, let me just do these things. And it started to work. It started, the numbers yeah. started to grow. And then I started turning the camera on myself. And then people were like, oh, there's that guy. Mm -hmm. Boom. And my mm -hmm. shit's funny. So, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's just everything. You can't leave any stone unturned. If there are any podcasts, you should be on them shits. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Podcasts and get the fuck on them. Get mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that's like, real. I mean, you it, no stone unturned, man. Mm -hmm. It's it, no, I, w real. I wish there was a magical fucking button, but I've been doing comedy right long yeah. too. Yeah, it ain't no motherfucking. You got to get this shit out the mud. I know one thing: <laughs> consistency. If you're not consistent, you're fucked. Consistency. You that's what is in the books. If you ain't consistent, you shouldn't even be fucking bothering that. Yeah. If you're no, not consistent, real. then forget it. Forget that's it. real, dude. It, it, it's just as we go, you you know, as technology increases and as we uh, continue as comedians, 
you juggling an awful lot more because now it, it's just not enough just to be a comedian. Your ass, like, you the comedian, you the manager, you the fucking creator yeah. for yeah. content. Yep. You the fucking... Yep. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> nigga, you everything right now. Yep. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like and, and then doing like going in, doing an hour, you know, doing five or six hours in the comedy club on the weekend. Like I really mm -hmm. understand that because see I used to open for Ricky and you know, I would do the Shack tours and all that shit. Yeah. But now I'm really in here as the guy on the marquee and I see yeah. the, uh I, that shit takes a lot, bro. Hey, man. And I, and, and I want to say this to a lot of up and coming guys who ask to feature. I'm not tripping, but you want to, because I get a lot of guys, you know, calling me, DMing me. I mean, the date don't even be up for two seconds. I get all these calls. I get a lot. And I'm not tripping, but I think when you're asking a guy, maybe to open or to get some time or whatever. I, I, I do feel like you 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 still want to offer something more than just jokes. Like, nigga, can you be my camera guy? Because it ain't a, it ain't no money anyway. You, you know what I'm saying? So how do you, you, you know, and, and I'm just saying that to those who go out and do that. I'm not saying, like, I want a motherfucker to carry all my merch and shit like that but how do you can you help me push a ticket because i'm still on the on the low end you you get what i'm saying you yeah, understand? You're yeah yeah you see what i'm saying like a lot of times i don't know how to say that like you know how you get guys i'm sure you get constantly get guys man take me out take me on the road with you come on man let me open for you. But it's like, and, and I'm not knocking that, but I think you want to offer that headline or something. So if I if I come to God and say, Godfrey, man, let me get some dates. I can help you push tickets because I got I got some social media followers. Right. I can help you. Right. You know what I mean? It's just a, right. a help thing because there's a lot of responsibility on right. the headliner, bro, because it's right. on your ass if ain't no tickets sold. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm sure the guy opening – he can be funny as fuck, and that's it great. Matter, but, but sometimes it's like, is it a good maybe. match? Yeah, yeah, that's true. It, 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 like, like, one of the smartest moves was Joe Coy and King Batch. Mm. Joe Coy's already been, he brought King Batch with him. Mm -hmm. King Batch is like middling, and King Batch is trying to learn to middle, and all of a sudden, he has 20 million followers with him. That's crazy, he's bro. probably one of the biggest, yeah, Instagram stars. And you bring him to open up for you? Oh, you bring gosh. him up to open up for you? Mm. If King Bat said, Godfrey, I want to come on a roll, I'd be like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, Yogi Bear. I think it would be a good choice. You have That's 20 real. million followers, and maybe they'll come flowing to me. But, man. Ba -ba -ba <laughs> but man, being out here doing this shit, man, that headline this is real, man. Just to get somebody, and I'm appreciative of anybody buy a ticket because I know nigga they ain't to get a babysitter. You know what I'm saying? That that mm -hmm. that twenty four dollars, twenty five dollars for my ticket is not just twenty five. It turns out to be a hundred twenty. You know, once you get babysitter, park, and food, lift. Yes. You know what I mean? So yeah. <laughs> so it's love, man. No, but I'm happy doing what I do. I love this shit. I ain't going no goddamn well. Yeah, I mean, keep on. Man, the crap, it's it's like, it's like a sculptor who just keeps hammering away, hammering away at his ding, 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 ding. But this little fine chops just wants to get every every part of the face right. You want to get everything right. You just ding, 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 ding. And you're going to fucking work that shit until it's done and complete. Ding, 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 ding. If that's what doing what we do, it's just, it's sculpting. It's sculpt. It takes a long fucking time. It do, man. It do. I don't man. give a fuck if Netflix is giving these fucking bum motherfucking comics on. They're giving them specials. They're not ready. I don't care. Comedy will never change. That art form ain't changing. You have to know how to do that shit for a long time. You got to do that shit. You TV can trick everybody. TV, TV, not really, because even TV can't trick anybody because 
the comics that aren't ready, you can tell they bombing on their specials. You can already tell. You go, oh, this, yeah. shit, is this shit is trash. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even yeah. Cat Williams, a lot of people who didn't, I didn't see his new special. They didn't really like it. But Cat mm -hmm. is a vet. And Cat even, if Cat is struggling, what fuck makes you think, what do you think you about to go through? If yeah, Cat's you struggling, that work in, if Cat's had a bunch of great specials, so I don't trip on that. Every once in a while, everything's not going to be great. But Cat is a veteran. He's a great comedian. And what makes you think, how well do you think you're going to do and you don't have that much experience? Well, there's one goddamn thing I need to tell you, Godfrey. I tell am me. one of the greatest, most luxurious motherfuckers you have ever, ever seen. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Yo. That was good, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'll be fucking with him. I'll be, I'll be doing a little cat and shit. That was a good because some cats, some cats are a little too high, and some yeah. are right there perfect. Because some people will go, yeah, you motherfucker. No, you did it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. There's no other motherfucking place in the world I would rather be. That's pretty. <laughs> that's good. That's a good one. That's a good one, man. But yeah, Woo! bro. I appreciate that shit. But yeah, man. <laughs> We got to keep going, man. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you you got to just... But but I love it, though. That's the yeah. thing, too. I love yeah, this course. shit. It's, it's, it don't even... What else are we going to do? What else are we doing? What else... What is, what is it like to get on stage and tell people how you feel? Have people you don't know. You're, you're making them laugh. You're saying some real poignant shit, dope shit. People are coming in going, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I, I have That's people true. going, yo, God, we tell them what time it is, baby. I mean, come people come in, they know mm -hmm. I go hard in the paint. And brothers yeah. be like, hell yeah. Even some white folks are like, fucking, you were amazing. And, and, oh my God, you were so And then you, you have got, like, I perform with you, and you don't, like, you to the point, dude, you do a different hour each set. You do a different hour. The, look, I'm going to tell y'all, this dude, if he got six shows, you're going to see six different fucking shows. Like, you don't even repeat. That shit is crazy. And and, and, crazy. and, and, and when I do repeat, it's usually, it's just, it's, it's, it's just relevant. It's just relevant because if I talk about COVID, it's still going on. It's not over. Mm -hmm. It's still mm -hmm. around. So I just talk about what's actually going on. I bring it up. Mm -hmm. I bring it up. But then I'll go into some other shit, like, boom. Because I don't feel the same every show, man. I just right. don't. And for my own self, I'm always in the audience looking at myself. Right. I always right. pretend like I'm going to see myself. And if I look at I'm looking at myself, I go, man, he did that same act last. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how so I, I be pretend like I'm head. looking at myself and go, damn, that's a new joint. Okay. Because I, for myself, can't see myself doing the same act, same order every night. Ooh, what the? Ooh, that'd be that's crap. Huge. My whole thing of doing comedy was to be free, to not be told what to do. Nobody tells me, to, you know what I mean? And, and, and when, you, when you're doing the same old act, now you're punching into a clock. You're not, you don't care about the art form anymore. You're not challenging yourself. Mm -hmm. I, would rather, I would rather bomb on a new joke that I'm trying mm -hmm. than kill on the same old shit. That's like a, how I feel, like, dog. Like, instead of dialing it in, you know you're going to get to laugh. I'd rather try something new. I'd rather piss somebody off because I tried it than... Dude, dude I, was, I was performing one night, and I walked... I probably walked about two tables out of the room. Now, mm -hmm. <laughs> on the surface, I'm bombing because I'm... I'm literally working on some shit, but I was most proud in the fact that I didn't deviate because I know, of course, I can cut into yeah what what works. Yes. You know, that's fucking boring. Like sometimes I feel like like a bomb to me is when I'm when I'm cowardly up there. Meaning, fuck, let me just turn it on real quick, and I'm just yeah. going down this fucking monologue, and I and yeah. I hate myself when I walk yeah. off the fucking stage. It's yeah. like yeah, they got the laughs, but I'm like. Nigga, I'm not fucking. This is a monologue I just did, dog. Like I, I literally want to talk to my audience, and then it's like overcoming that. You, you know, one of the big things for me, which I'm just now realizing, maybe in the last two years, and I'm 20 years in, is the 
is how powerful silence is mm. being able to sit in the silence like it's beautiful all that, all that ripping shit that because that, that, you know coming up urban is it's a it's that's a how we were taught it's we a hyper cadence we were trained and we were trained out of fear because right. when, when i came up early 2000s motherfuckers were booing like it was relentless yeah of course so you only you only had like you had about 20 seconds to win them yeah so so that fast cadence is is based on fear it, it seems more fear like hey what's going on y'all have seen motherfuckers nobody can laugh i mean they don't know you like you, yeah. you're stepping over your shit you're going super super fast but being able to be resilient in that silence and not be awkward, you're not grabbing the mic, you're not pulling on your shirt, you're not wiping your brow. But when right. you sit there and you start off and you just look at them, I think it uh, shows the crowd, number one, your confidence. Right. And number two, it shows control of the audience. You know what I'm saying? So. That's yeah. some shit I've been learning. About. I I I like that. Learn I learned that from Tony Woods, man, mm. man. Tony Woods, even in the midst of that late '90s black comedy explosion, I mean, I would go to shows and everybody was screaming at the top of their fucking lungs and ah, and niggas, yeah, niggas, <laughs> niggas, and good night. <laughs> Yo, give it up for my man Chicken Wing. Oh, that's my man. The next group coming up. Give it up for my man, Pig Feet. What's up, baby? I'm going to tell you. Huh? Suck my dick. Good night. Give it up for my man, Pig Feet. Now my man. Here come my man. Fuck out of here. Yo, what's up? Yo, come on now. Ladies. If your man. Yo, 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 Oh no, no, I'm just saying, man. No, I'm playing with you, bro, I'm playing with you. Oh, He's like this, you gotta do this. I'm playing with you, player. Don't worry. I'm just playing. No, I'm saying no. I'm saying no, no. But you see, that's that bullshit. <laughs> nigga, tears, nigga. That shit. Oh, this shit is hilarious, bro. And you, it it almost became a point where people were using it as a hack move. It was very hack. hacky, bro. There's black hack. You know, there's black hack. Like, black oh, hack, bro. There's black yeah. hack. Say, nigga, what's your name? Oh, nigga, I know you. That's black hack. Yeah. Right? Black or, hack. Uh, ladies, me, ladies, if you're hack, that's hack shit. Hack, like, bro. That's, the, that's the, black, the black joke box. Boom. You know what I mean? They'd be like, oh, nigga, now, nah, listen, it's, it's a lot of hacky shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I did I did like that when the black alternative guys were coming out, Hannibal Burris, Lucas Burris, I liked that difference. I was liking that. Like, mm -hmm. we are all so abstract. We're not all the fucking same. That's why people say, well, Hannibal Burris ain't that funny to me. I go, I think Hannibal Burris is funny. And he's just so, different. But, but, but with that comedy you're talking about, is, is it ad? What do they call that shit? Alternative, what? alternative. No, the alt, the alt comedy, yes. So the alt comedy. Now, with the alt comedy, I, I like some of it. I think it's cool, but some it of it kinda, is bullshit. It can kind of blur the line of like, nigga, like you still have to be somewhat funny. Like, no, 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 no. See, yeah, you get motherfuckers, yeah. So I'm from no, Minnesota. There's, some, there's people that are, there's a lot of alternative comics that are horrible. They fucking stink. It's a wasteland. And there's also hack. Okay. It's there's also hack, um, what you call it? Hack, um Hack Alt. Yes, big time. They'll be like this. Um, so I mean, come on, man. We're talking like Star Trek in the fucking, you know, and the fucking 
You know, are you going to tell me that fucking Captain Kirk wasn't the guy that was eating pizza right behind the Vulcan fucking mountain? What? Yeah. That's yeah, whack, yeah, dude. That's I, I watched real. Star Trek, and you're fucking whack. That's cornball. You know what that's I mean? Real, bro. Yeah, yeah, they I hack alt because I know, because I've done alt rooms, bro. In New York, yeah. I would go to the Lower East Side, get invited to the hack to the to the alt rooms, and I'll murder that bitch because I'm smart like them. I go, yeah. I know Star Trek, I know Marvel yeah. comics, but bitch, what you talking about? But I'm not trying to talk with tricky, just tricky word. Which you got to be good at that. Now you got to be good at that. Mm -hmm. But some of it is hack. You'll get some dude with the glasses and the fucking flannel shirt and the fucking uh, and you know, you know what I mean? It's like. Uh, in the beard and the fucking yeah. the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's real. Some of these black alt dudes that be using the word nigga left and right. I go, you're what are you? What are you now? What are you? What are you? Patton Oswald prior now? What the fuck are you doing? Like nigga, that's funny. are you because they'll be that's like this. Funny. They'll be like, so I read comic books. Nigga, I know you wait. You just <laughs> wait. Most of your crowd is white. And you going mm. nigga? Are you Richard Pryor now? What the fuck? Make up mm. your mind, dog. That yeah. Now you know you going nigga, nigga, this nigga, cause you need that nigga pop to make you laugh. Mm. Mm. You need that. You need that nigga. That nigga. That that. Oh, that makes people laugh. Now you're, now you're literally catering to white folks, which you're getting a laugh from them being uncomfortable because you keep saying nigga. Mm. Are you using nigga because you're using nigga because it to me. I'm, and listen, remember, you can talk any way you want to. If somebody asks me their opinion, like I had a comedian, they asked me their opinion about their set. Mm -hmm. and I looked, I said, you want my opinion? I said, I think half your shit is hack bullshit. Oh, I said, I'm being honest. You asked me. Right, I don't right, say right. nothing to anybody. Right, right. And I said, so you go, what do you mean it's hack? I go, you did a eaten coochie joke. That was black girl 101 bullshit. Mm -hmm. Every black woman that I that I used to come up, they talk about, they can't fuck, eat this, but, 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 <laughs> yeah. fuck it. Hey, it was just like yeah. this old route, routine shit. Mm -hmm. I said, you actually, you have better jokes than that. You've told me the other shit you got. Why aren't you talking about that? My crowds are diverse. You see every race in there. So nobody can complain about my shows. Mm -hmm. Like a white dude, I'll go, you bomb because you ain't funny. You got plenty of white folks in here, and you sucked. Don't go mm -hmm. and say, well, it was all black. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I got Spanish people in here. I got Asians in here. Mm -hmm. Everybody. And mm -hmm. my thing is, if you have better jokes, use them. Why mm -hmm. are we always going for the low fucking fruit, man? Because it's insecurity. You don't think you're that smart for this fucking game. You don't think until so you go to the, and plus, when you get off stage, what are they gonna remember, yo? Like you were funny, but what, 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 what? Who were who were you? Who who was this guy? That's all I'm saying. And I'm like I said, you don't have to do. You can do whatever you fucking want to. But if you ask me my opinion, if you juggling on stage, I'm gonna be like that ain't stand up. Yeah, my opinion. No, Shit, real. Fuck out of here. Go to a that's circus. You, you come on that motherfucker and joke rape the crowd. You just joke fuck them to death. They don't know nothing about you know. Just yeah, <laughs> you know. Funny. Because know. what I used to what I used to do, you know, I used to, and that's that's why Bernie 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 Mac showed me mad props because I would come in the middle of all them damn hustlers and pimps and shit. I'll be doing college college jokes. Like, I'll be doing some, I'll go on stage on purpose going, what's happening, guys? How are you? But but see, that speaks, comedy is about the truth, though. And the honest, right. you're a college guy. That's what you should yeah. talk about. Right. I think, like, you, once, you, once you get outside of who you really are, now you live in a lie, nigga. Like, this is not you. You know what I'm saying? You're catering to this audience, and they they know this is not you. You know what I'm saying? So, and, they, and, yeah. and those gangsters that we used to do comedy with at Bernie Mac with at Cotton Club and shit, they loved me because I was real with myself. I wasn't lying. I wasn't playing like I was gangsters. Mm. They were like, 
And they were like, man, we fuck, man, you funny as hell. Because black folks just want you to be funny. They don't give a fuck. You can be funny and be corny. Mm -hmm. If you're funny, you're funny. Funny is the funny. Funny, funny is an internal thing. Funny ain't, yeah. funny ain't, funny. People think funny is, there's this thing that we do, especially a lot of black people. We, we do this thing. No, white people do the same shit too. There's this thing we do, especially if, we, if we're loud and we ramble, we think it's automatically funny. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. This, there's this loud rambling. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. like, shit, you motherfuckers know. Oh, oh fuck, right. nigga, I know. Right. I think, like, what, I think what happens is you try to deafen the silence. So that's why they go loud. Yeah, they do, they right. Don't, they, don't, they don't want to hear nothing. So it's yeah. like if I go loud, then I I'm killing, but you're not really yeah. killing. Yep. You know what yep. I'm saying? It's like you just talking. It's like mm -hmm. fuck. Yeah, but calm that's the, down. That's why when I got to New York, I really, really learned the art of stand up comedy. When yeah, I was real, it was like, okay, mm -hmm. being around Robin Williams. Ray Romano, Jerry Seinfeld, mm -hmm. George Wallace, Chappelle, Rock, mm -hmm. Greg Giraldo, Patrice, Bill Burr. These were all who I came up with. Bill Burr, Patrice were my guys. Jim Norton, mm -hmm. those were my guys. We were Keith Robinson. Keith was a little older than me. They were, he's before me, but we were all in the same club on the mm -hmm. same, same shows. Damon Wayans would come through. Just all these great comedians. John Stewart, just we were around good like Seth, even Seth Myers. Seth, it was it was all the it was just real. And you mm -hmm. just see everybody's different style, the writing, the punchlines, the tags, mm -hmm. Mark Marin, Mark Marin, um, just everybody just had, and you're like, oh yeah, bro. You yeah, being being uh, in that cellar, being in that cellar is a blessing, dude. Like that shit is like. Yeah, that shit like fucking it's real deal, like the, like the X Man fucking university nigga <laughs> like the, <laughs> of, of comedy. Like, like, Professor X goes, I want you to join my company. <laughs> yeah, bro, like it's, I it's see you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's real. Like, is it? Yeah. Now, now you, tell me, you you work with Robin Williams? Like, was this the time he did? Did he take? What year was this? You uh, saw him? Perform? I were, Oh, I knew Robin in the late nineties up to like the two thousands, man. Um, oh wow! We have the same birthday, which is coming up July twenty first. We had it. Wow! Um, it's me, Robin Williams, John Lovitz is the twenty first. George Wallace is July twenty first. Wow! Here, Kareem Green is the twenty first. Steve Bird is July twenty first. It, That's crazy. Yeah, all July twenty. Don Knotts was July twenty first. From oh wow! From we, Three's Company. A lot of comedy heads like July twenty first. That's crazy. So look, when you saw Robin. Was was he killing at this time? And this like, I mean, was because he was he was bad. Like I heard he did steal some jokes from some people. Shit, but he was still funny as fuck. Yeah, he didn't, yeah. he didn't lose that shit. Yeah, because he would go in. That motherfucker would go in. I, I've he, seen here's the thing video. Robin would hang out with us at, at the table, hang out with us till to, like eating wings and just talking with us. And we'd be like, so what's up, Robin? You know, he's one of the best actors ever lived, too. That nigga can act. And Ooh. he would be like, sitting there like this. And I'd be like, yo, Robin, so what you up to? I'm just uh, working on some things, you know, working on a couple of things, you know. I have, I have, I have to host this thing. So, you know, just trying out some stuff, you know. Very humble. And then yeah. and I would fuck with him, and I would go, hey, Robin, man, I want to ask you a question. And he'd be like this, what's happening? What you want? And he'd just fucking snap. <laughs> Wow, he, he is like, going to care. Love that That's shit. So you go like crazy. this, man. God for you, right, man. You see, the thing is, oh, he loved getting into character. Damn, that's dope, dude. Yeah, that's I got dope. a photo. I got a photo with him. I got a dope photo of me, him, Chris Rock, Louis C.K. Robin. We're all at the table. We're just looking at the camera. So look, dude. God, okay. it's time. It's, it's time. So what's up, man? Where you going on Rogan, bro? It's time Everyone, for Rogan yo, interview, yo! Bro. I heard it's time Joe for your Rogan interview, bro. I, I think I just did Adam Carolla. I've done Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura. I've yeah. done Bobby Lee's Tiger Belly. I've done 
Breakfast Club. I've done, I just did the Brilliant Idiots with Charlemagne and yeah. Ed Schultz. I've done Mark uh, Mark Norman and Sam Marill's We Come Drunk. I've done, I, and it's like, when are you fucking doing Rogan? Bro, it's time, bro. No, 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 no. But I, it, I mean, I, I listen to Rogan a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's time. Just your comedy history and shit. And then you, you used to do a little training in fights, right? Like karate or something. Hapkido. Hapkido. Yeah, bro. You know, and I would love to talk martial arts because um, I just did the Miami Improv last week, and Usman Kamaru came. Kamaru Usman came to my show. Oh, he's a lightweight champion. Who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's just, wow. he came by. He's Nigerian, so they, he came oh, by personally cool. to come see me. It was dope. He hung out, and and I did eighty five South. I did eighty five South. That I did their podcast. That was oh, dope. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. That shit was crazy. Part of the shit. And yeah, bro. Yeah, and and yeah, man. And it's like everything I've been doing is earned, man. Like I should be on these shows. I should be on a bunch of shit. I've earned it, man. It's not like I'm some fucking, you know, nah, I've, I've earned my nah, keep, my keep and I haven't skipped any steps. And you know nah. what's funny? Is I I I'm not lucky like some of these guys hosting TV shows like a I have to bring up Trevor Noah because he's a lucky son of a bitch. He's just luck. There's yeah. not, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but I don't really get it, but he's a right. lucky guy. But there's right. other, you know, I wouldn't put him down. I'm just saying South African kid from the part that, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I am the ultimate American, like, dude that's like, fuck, when are you going to get yours? And motherfuckers trying to stop you here, stop you there. You're still doing your thing, though. You still, you still working. You still doing mm -hmm. stuff. You getting a car. Nah, you, you got it, bro. But there's that polarization. Like, like Lenny Kravitz became a friend of mine like a couple months ago. He's a fan, and El DeBarge. Oh, that's El dope. DeBarge just DM me like, I was like, fuck El DeBarge. Yeah, that's El DeBarge, dope. Nas, El DeBarge, Lenny Kravitz, mm -hmm. and he goes, Lenny goes, you remind me of me, man. He goes, the stuff you're doing is so next level. And he goes, you got white folks that look at you funny, and you got black people that look at you funny. Mm -hmm. You're like me. I go, you're, we're, we're, we're those guys where they go, you, I mean, you got black fans, you got white right. fans, but you don't got all of them. Right. Yeah, bro. I think, I, yeah. you, you know, one thing about being a, a black comic or even coming up urban, like if you kind of articulate or if you, you know, if you if you kind of yep. smart, I'm not yep. saying it's necessarily looked down upon, but for some reason we're most entertained as black people by right. our low by our lowest common denominator. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. and you can tell we love that shit because like if I go in the care to like uh, uh, the Atlanta street nigga shit, you know what I'm saying? Got now. Right, niggas right. out there shooting them off for gun. Nigga, nigga had that stick on. You feel me? Like niggas, niggas eat it up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. just to be articulate or somewhat educated, sometimes it can be like different. Oh, you know oh, what I'm but, saying? But, but why are we? But my thing is this: Why are we still being surprised that black folks are smart? And the thing is, but we I'm know saying we're, for, no, 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 I'm no, saying no. like for us. No, no, no. Our people. Well, I'm, no, I'm talking about our people. Right, right. I'm saying why, even though all of us, like Black people, from the thug to the doctor to the... We all know we have an intelligence. We know, you know, a lot of, you know, motherfuckers from the ghetto go, no, nah, we was the first people, man. We were... Mm -hmm. They know this. They know if you put your mind to something, we can accomplish anything. But then when they hear an educated person, they get upset. It's very strange. They know we got it. They go, no, nah, we was the first people. Okay. If you see a cat that's acting like the first people that were mathematicians, uh, all of a sudden you rebel and go, oh, this motherfucker corny. <laughs> it's because like, I think it's a... It's, it's that it, slave it's mentality. A... It's that insecurity. And this is the thing, too, is you're, you're highlighting. You, it's like you're almost making them feel like they're not as smart as you. And you go, dude, I'm talking like this because I know you're that smart. I know you're that intelligent. That is why I'm saying this to you because you are that smart. 
You need to get out of that 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 low-minded bullshit, insecure bullshit that these white folks have crushed into you. And you need to go, I understand exactly what he's saying. I like to read. I like comic books. I like this. I like that. Because you know you do because we're the biggest consumers in America. But I think it's a it's a it's almost a mirror effect, right? So like, you know, if I grew up in the hood or some shit and I've been programmed to think every if I've been in the hood and I grew up in the hood and I've been programmed to think like every nigga is ignorant, every nigga's a killer, and then I see a nigga look like me, but and he's smart, and it just fucks me up. Like what what are you, nigga? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like oh, that well, 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 yeah, I know. It, you're trained to not think that high, and your mm -hmm. and, and your rebellion turns into anger. Like I'm gonna beat this nigga, corny ass nigga. You're, yeah. It's an insecurity thing, dude. Mm -hmm. Subconsciously, it's insecurity, but you take it as yeah, yo, yo, man, you tough. No, it's insecurity. You're mad insecurity. because all I'm being is the best I can be as a black person. I'm trying right. to be the best I can be. I'm not trying to be better than you because, first of all, I'm not saying anything to put you down. I'm just trying to spit some shit at a level that mm -hmm. I know you can be at too. Like, but mm -hmm. but see, someone like a Malcolm X who went to jail, who was a pimp, who was a hustler, and he ended up being one of the greatest orators of our of of, of the '60s. Look at how articulate he was. He he he, he self-educated himself. He didn't go to college, but he spoke at most colleges. He was that intelligent. Mm -hmm. But every mm -hmm. black person stands in line. They never disrespect Malcolm. Go, yo, he educated himself. Now he think he white. What? You know why? Mm. Because he was associated with one of the biggest fucking groups, the Nation of Islam. You don't get no blacker than the Nation of Islam. Mm. And mm. Islam has muscle. So every black person shuts up because they know we're not only intelligent, but we'll put your ass in the fucking ground. <laughs> so, you know, when you got muscle and intelligent, people tend to yeah. stay. They go, my my man, and then we're and I'm talking, and I'm rehabbing brothers, and I'm putting you straight, and I'm telling you God is black. So when you you either gonna be the the the, the ghetto comic or you gonna be that pro black comic. And me, I'm in this category. I'm pro black, but I balance it out for everybody to understand it. I'm not just going, you white motherfucker. Why am I going to say that when I got white fans? I don't want them not coming to my shows. I want them to come. <laughs> right. It's got to be a balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I want white folks to go, hey, this is what your people did. But guess what? If you're not like that, then don't be like that. Change. Mm -hmm. what you hope that it'll bring change in people. Make it palatable for motherfuckers, you know? Right. That's real, bro. And, and when That's I real. listen to DC, Young Fly, I listen to Carlos and I listen to those clay. They be spitting, man. I've seen DC on plenty of occasions spitting real dope yeah, shit he, about. Yeah, he read a lot. Fly. Oh, he's spitting real shit. Like, for like real. Uh, like, fly a roast your ass and then give you a black history fact. Look at your, your prune face head. He be like, you ugly ass boy. You ugly ass boy. Ugly ass boy. <laughs> ugly ass boy. <laughs> Oh, ugly, <laughs> oh, ugly. <laughs> and then hit you with ugly. black history. Fact. Like this. See, you have to understand that the black man is the first. Yeah. He'll be spitting. With, I'd be like, look That's at this. Real. These yeah. guys are on it. Carlos yeah. Miller, all those cats yeah, be on man. it. They be they on are, it. Bro. Yeah, because, they are. but that's why they fuck with cats like me. They fuck because they go, we got that same intelligence. We do it a different way. But when you, we hear that, we like that too because we think the same fucking way. That's real shit. That's real shit, bro. And, that's real. Mm -hmm. And funny is funny. I don't give a fuck how you talk. It, it, if you bomb, you ain't funny. Whether you you could be a, 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 a urban comic, and there's so many horrible urban comics. They're so whack. And there's plenty of horrible alternative comics. There's a lot of sucky niggas on the mic right now. So look, so look, we got, bro. Like, I guess this is 2022. There are probably more so-called comedians than ever before. Like, of course, was com comedy used to be weird. Comedy was like, God damn, it just seemed impossible to do. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, what percentage out of all the comedians we got out here, what percentage do you believe that's like really funny that are like that you would consider that are really comedians? What percentage? Um, 50. 50? Shit, I was thinking about eight or nine, man. Ain't no way. 50. Oh, I'm talking oh, about like out, of, out of every, you know what I'm saying? Like out of every motherfucker that claims to be a comedian and all these people that are doing comedy, what percentage do you think is really funny? Would you consider like, wow, this this is a oh, great well, comedy? About, about, about 20. 20? Shit, man, I, I say I say five to eight percent, bro. That I say five to fucking eight percent. And, and most of and and, and yeah, I, you know what? Yeah, no, it's low, bro. If you run a if you run a mic of a hundred motherfuckers, bro, I'm figuring, dog, only eight or ten. I'm really gonna be funny. <laughs> Right. No, you're right. No, and, you're right. and this is this is out of a random sample. If I just get a hundred comics, if I just you because know, it got to be a million comedians in the U.S. now. It has to be. It got to yeah. be. Or, be. Here's what I think has happened. Mediocrity was the mo. Medi they let mediocrity leak through. It mediocrity has spilled in like a fucking plague. Mediocrity is a disease that they're not getting rid of. And mediocre motherfuckers are getting shit. Like it's oh, it's an overflow of mediocrity. And so more you know, mediocre people have more persistence than anybody. True. Mediocre people have a lot, they're very reliable. Mm -hmm. Mediocre people work hard as fuck because they know they can't they have to compensate for their horrible talent. And so, but talented people get picky, they go, nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not doing that. I'm not. Some talented people don't feel like they got to blah, 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 blah. But I, I video, know, I know. mediocrity has opened the gates, man. Seriously. I know I know. when I, before I, you know, got into stand-up or, or when I first saw a stand-up comedian, I think it was like Bill Cosby or some shit. And I, uh -huh. this is what I thought a comedian was. I thought a comedian was an actor, right? who just set up and like memorized this whole script and somehow just sat and talked and made it funny. I was like, right. this is impossible. How the fuck do they do this? You know what I'm saying? That was my first thought of what a comedian was. And then even coming up and seeing, it seemed impossible because I'm seeing Bernie Mac. I'm seeing Robin Harris. I'm yeah. seeing that young Chris Tucker. I'm seeing yep. Martin Lawrence when he was yep. the baddest motherfucker on earth. Oh my like, God, right? Bro, I'm like, bro, look at these motherfuckers, man. How can I do this shit? These niggas are ridiculous. They were ridiculous, bro. Like, crazy. It, it, it was like, oh my God, these fuckers are phenomenal. Yeah. It was crazy. That fucking Def Jam air now. Because you never did Def Jam, right? I no, I never did Def Jam. They never chose me for that. Even though That's Kid Capri, crazy. Kid, yeah, Bob Sumner kind of hated on me, man. Dog, he ain't, he don't, he never fucked with me either, bro. Yeah, he didn't. He he he, he, he never he fucked with me. Corey Dion Cole, he picked all those comedians. He never picked me. Had me audition. I used to murder that shit. He never chose me. Nigga, I got a standing ovation at that motherfucker. Man. Yeah, never chose me. Was just he just kind of didn't like me. I don't think just. I mean, I you got it. Godfrey, Godfrey, you got it. I'm telling you, Godfrey, I like you. It's not that I don't like you, Godfrey. Godfrey, you, I see what you're doing. I yeah. see what you're doing, Godfrey. You're not like me. <laughs> I never forgot that, though. I'll remember that always, though. Yeah, bro. I already know. I already know. I already know. We're through it, too, man. Yeah, well, yeah. that's what's up, my boy. Well, man, I'm going to get out of here, man. I'm going to hit you. I should be in New York soon, man. We get up on that podcast or something, bro. All, All right, right bro. brother. All right, no doubt. One. Hey.